I have a son who came into this district happy, healthy, okay? He was not on medication. He did not require doctors or psychiatric help, who now is medicated. I used to drop my daughter off every single day and say, elbows out, elbows out. And these kids are hurting. They're hurting. I have to talk, my daughter comes home and she is also scared. She don't want to go to the school. It should not have to come to that point. Those were concerned parents from Central Regional School District in New Jersey. They are outraged because their children are going to school surrounded by bullies, and the school district is doing nothing about it. The outcry stems from the tragic death you might have heard about. 14-year-old Adriana Cush, she was tormented so viciously and relentlessly by classmates, she chose to end her own life earlier this month. And now fellow students are begging for action to finally be taken to stop the bullying and put an end to the dangerous environment in and out of the classroom. Watch. My name is Danielle. I am also talking for it. I am also so many other names that people have called me over the years. And you guys have said nothing. I am sorry for screaming and yelling at you. However, I am trying so hard. I tried so hard to just talk, to just try for you guys to listen to me. I am going home scared, and I am going home feeling threatened by so many people here. There are so people here who do not belong here. I've been bullied every single day since I've been at this school since the seventh grade. People in this room have even made fun of me, and I don't even know why they're here. I've been called slurs, had stuff thrown at me. I've not been allowed to sit next to people on the bus because I smelled apparently so bad. This is so hard to watch. It is. I, um, I can't imagine. I can't imagine feeling so unheard and so unseen. These poor children. I can't imagine what their parents feel. Um, Turn that sadness into uh, rage because these people at this, in this school district did nothing. And after this child killed herself, the superintendent who did resign over the weekend publicly tried to blame that child's parents. He talked publicly to the Daily Mail and revealed details about her father's life. And they knew this was going on. And the acting superintendent has come out and said, this is all just a communications problem. That the families, that we need to do a better job of communicating about the good things that we're doing. <sighs> and we all get upset, I think, and you're my friends, but I was bullied growing up and beaten up. And you hide it from your parents because you don't want to upset them. And now it's worse today. So the school doesn't do anything about it. The bus drivers don't anything, do anything about it. And you, you've got the CDC information about the rise in suicidal ideation among young women and depression but it's so much worse now because of social media. And so you get bullied and beaten up at school and it's videoed. Yeah. And, and then they put it out you there. You go home and you get bullied on social media and it really is relentless. You know, you know, I've got two teenage girls, one of whom was bullied and I went to the school and they did nothing. So, and it's it's not just that school. It's not just this school. It's across the country. And Degan's right. It's social media, but it's also the pandemic. Kids forgot how to treat each other. Schools have abdicated the responsibility to discipline students who harm other kids. And children are so wounded from the pandemic and in such mental peril and despair and they got 190 billion dollars from the federal government and they have not provided adequate resources and shame on every school district that is creating victims like this and it's girls twice as much as boys 56 percent of girls according to cdc over the past year expressed deep sadness one out of three threatened suicide and 
bullying has a lot to do with this. Social media is fanning it. I'm agreeing completely the pandemic created this or, or made this a lot worse, this mess. When I talk to CDC, they, they talk about schools, but all, er, all everyone already has made the point I was about to make, which is schools are sitting there not listening to parents. So parents come in and say, my kid's in trouble. My kid is wounded. My kid, I'm worried about my kid. And the school maybe pushes back. There's got to be more communication on, on, every, on every level when a, when a child is hurt, when a child is wounded. When your child is wounded, you know it as a parent. Yeah, and they also have to remove kids like that from schools. They don't do that. They don't suspend students. They don't expel them. They keep them in these classrooms, and they continue to be problems, and they continue to bully. I mean, the whole system is completely screwed up, especially in public schools. And everyone knows who the bully is. Bullying is not new, but now they have this new outlet and you can be so vicious because you do it behind the screen on social media and it can be so painful, right? Everybody compares their lives to what they see on social media. I'm so glad that I didn't grow up with it and I feel for these kids so much. At the same time, I think we can't take away the responsibility of parents, but look how hard it is because today, with our economic situation, you have both parents out of the home working hard. Everybody has to produce. Everyone feels like they're behind. So you don't have enough time to invest in your children, the time it takes to build up their character. Both my parents worked, first generation immigrants so hard. And I'm so grateful that I had a mom who came home who was like, even if you're bullied, and I was called, you know, alien, this, that, made fun of my name. And my mom said, nothing matters except who you are, the faith in yourself and the faith in something greater than you and you can do anything you set your mind to. And I'm so grateful that I had that example, but so many people don't today. Yes. And uh, to your point, p kids are at home, though. For the pandemic, they're at home. They're, they're plugged into social media. They're, they're on their iPhones all day long. Yeah. There's no interaction. There's no, no centering of them. But why the don't child. these schools stop it? And it's Amen. not one bully. It's groups of them. It's groups of them. Yes beating up young people and everyone sees it and it's all over the internet and when you go to a school my ch child is being beaten up and I've it's happened with people not just you but other people I know well and they don't do anything mm -hmm. yeah the, anything the schools are paralyzed by choice and something has to change and it has to start now more outnumbered in just a moment stay with us Hey everyone, I'm Emily Campagno. Catch me and my co-hosts Harris Faulkner and Kaylee McEnany on Outnumbered every weekday at 12 p.m. Eastern or set your DVR. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page for daily highlights.